This week on Luke and Sarah's Off Grid Life, we get a new baby goat and I do some much needed gardening. And Luke uncovers two amazing old walls under a heck of a lot of brambles. Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Sarah. And this is Molly. And this is Timmy. And for three years now, we've been living off grid in central Portugal. We bought a huge piece of land with a few ruins to restore, including an ancient water mill down by this amazing river with loads of boulders scattered all over the land. Subscribe to follow our journey as we navigate the ins and outs of off grid living. <laughs> Hi and welcome to our channel! Thank you for joining us again. Today has been a super confusing day. It's been raining, then hailing, then sunny. Beautiful. <laughs> we really want the rain and it's really not staying long enough. And then the guinea fowl were in the chicken coop and the chickens were in the goat house. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, what are they doing? <laughs> Even Big Bad Pep is in here. Oh, what are you doing? Why did you even come in here, guys? When it's raining, it's so beautiful. Look at the sky. Mmm, yummy. Molly's happy. Timmy, are you scared? Are you scared? Timmy ain't scared of nothing. When it was pouring with rain yesterday, I, I was, I was doing the onions and I moved to underneath the shade netting because the rest we had taken off and I realized that the ground was totally dry underneath it so I thought we're gonna have to take off the shade netting it doesn't make any sense to keep it on it's not letting any water come through it was raining pretty hard and it's still dry the ground so yeah that's not good and I remember last year as well even though some plants thrived some plants didn't do well because they need full sun like tomatoes and aubergines and Every time we had a rainy day in summer, I would have to water, which is ridiculous. We are leaving the shade netting on of, over the raspberries because it's, they need it. Like the, the bits that were, weren't covered with shade netting were really suffering last year. So that, that we will leave on. Normally in summer, come, well, in the afternoon, all the lettuce, all those things look like they're gonna die. So I think the netting would be good for those. Um, I don't need your help, you can go. I don't need your head. What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, get down. Oh, you know what? I think I heard a pussycat, won't you? <gasps> is that a pussycat I see over there? Oh my goodness, a pussycat! Go and check. Why well, is not helpful? Ready? One, two, three, go! Yeah! <laughs> I am finally doing some gardening. Now we have a lot of seeds, yes, but since it's so late, Luke went, well, we, we all went, me, Luke and Molly, went to Fundau Market and we bought a bunch of plugs. So we have a lot of tomatoes and onions and carrots and mm, aubergine. Anyway, we have a lot of summer plants. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be planting them and still maybe plant a few seeds and we see how it goes. And potatoes. So yeah, that's what's happening today.
Who's this? This is Little Daisy. This is Little Daisy. This is Little Daisy. She's been with us only a couple of days and she's already settled in quite nicely. Hey, say hi, Daisy. This is a little playmate for Susie. She's a little playmate for Susie, eh? And they really play well together now. And we needed two little girls, you know? We had two bo big boys now, because they're getting big, and Susie's still little. So she needs a playmate! And it is in the shape of another little Susie. They look very similar, except that she has brown eyebrows. Oh, but, and she's so cute! You're so oh, cute! Yeah. In an hour, okay? In an hour, Hachamama will feed you. She's being really good, Hachamama, actually. But we are trying to separate them. I take them for a walk. Well, Luca, Luca me takes them out like three times a day. And um, for a long time. Off the lead, she's really, really good. But then we feed the babies when we come back. But we give her an hour or so to just chill here. The boy's locked in one side, so Meatball doesn't drink his mummy's milk. Because he's weaned off now. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, she's just so cute. You're just so cute. Uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, we come in here. Hachimama chills out. Meatball and Billy, they chill out. They just sit down and process their food, do whatever they need to do. And... And the baby's just sit it over here. And then in an hour, her udder will be full of milk and the baby's drink. And then Meatball gets whatever's left. So that's how it's been going. It's been going really good because ev throughout the day we leave them alone together and Meatball just casually drinks a little bit. But the most important are these babies who are, uh, she's apparently hungry and wants to eat my shoulder. And this is our new goat, guys, a new goat. This week, Luke has put down his chainsaw and picked up his trimmer. He doesn't love it quite as much as he does his chainsaw, but the work needs to be done and he's clearing so much land, it's insane. Now he's done, he's cleared this wall. Remember last week I showed you the wall that was covered in brambles? Well, this is it. Now he's uncovered this wall and this old canal, which is so beautiful. And now just behind the camera, he is uncovering the most amazing, amazing wall. Before we bought our land three years ago, this place was abandoned for 40 years. So you can imagine how the brambles have moved in and taken over the whole place. So yeah, there's a lot of work to do on the land, but slowly, slowly with the help of now his ability to fix the trimmer and his hard work and muscle power, he is restoring the land to how it was before and we, he's uncovering the walls and the canals and yeah, God knows what we're gonna find there. Hey guys, so in, in the last video we got loads of comments regarding my lack of safety equipment. So I've had these on 24 seven now <laughs> to do everything. Brush my teeth, <laughs> go to sleep, cooking, having a shower, everything. No, but I needed all those comments yeah. um, just so I know, you know, so I get it into my very, very hard head that you have to wear safety gear, so. Especially what happened to our friend. And yeah, her a friend eye. of ours, uh, two or three days ago, ended up in hospital because she was chainsawing, got something in her eye and then tried to get it out, thinking she had something in her eye, but she had actually scratched her cornea. Um, you'd think that scratching your cornea might make you wear eye protection, but I've scratched my cornea about four times in my lifetime once or no, twice pretty bad and twice not so bad and i've also burnt my eyes welding when i was doing our food truck um, but now i'm gonna go all out 100 percent always protected these are new i'm not gonna take them off because they're stuck to my face <laughs> i put in a couple of screws here <laughs> so they stay there <laughs> Alrighty, i just um fixed my streamer we'll see how much more we can get out of it i'm pretty sure and um, this is getting eaten away. Like where this connects to that and actually turns it. That's what happened to the last yeah. one. I just bought this new blade. Check out that All beast right. for brambles. My last one, this is the one I finished using yesterday. This actually had two things like that. And as you can see, it's <laughs> as smooth as I don't know what. <laughs> Look at that, nothing. 
<laughs> nothing left so this morning this was a bit bent the handlebars keep breaking this is from my old one actually and this is my new one <laughs> this is a new pole and now i'm banged in this but anyway um yeah just because the brambles are so up high they're like three meters high down there and it's like you're working like that all the time so we'll see how long it lasts we are going to need to buy a new one for next year but i'm just going to try and get out as much work as possible out of this one before the ban on using metal discs comes in which is because pretty soon I, I would imagine 15th may which is the date the extended date by which they said you have to clean your land but um yeah the amount of sparks especially where i was cleaning yesterday along the, like all the walls the terraced walls when you're cleaning them you know it's just spark 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 if it was super dry we would have had a fire yesterday yeah um so yeah i'm just trying to do as much as i can down there so we can start letting the goats down there because it kind of the access leads to the three huge terraces which i mean they do have a bit of um bush and stuff but not but it's not they're crazy. not crazy no not it's not crazy i think a chainsaw in an afternoon i could probably clear it yeah and then they'll have three huge terraces and next year we hope to plant either lucerne Alfalfa. lucerne in in, oh. in portuguese i think correct me if i'm wrong anyway i am going to get all my stuff together and go down and ready for around whatever it is <laughs> double protection for his eyes one because yesterday a piece of granite off the wall flew up into my eye like that it didn't hurt me much i can feel it but i'm okay so today i bought some new safety goggles those glasses like i told you and yeah oh and i wanted to say i didn't scratch my cornea four times while working it was always no. walking through bushes or collecting firewood when we were camping once so i don't think it was You're from working terrible. So yeah. thankfully, while working, I haven't hurt my head, hurt myself apart from welding. <laughs> right. Okay, let's go. Gloves, glasses, visor, ear protection. Ear, protect ear protection. Water. This I'll take off. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, do you uh, do you want to come near Daddy? And then we we'll come back. Oh, that looks delicious. Hi, guys. Molly, do you want to say something? Molly wants to go walk here. She's been crying. Yes, she does. This is for daddy. Can you give it to daddy and then you get a treat? For daddy. Okay, take it to daddy. Take it to daddy. Take it to daddy. Bring, Molly. Bring. Bring. Oui. Bring my filters to daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good girl. Now, what do I have for daddy here? This is for Molly because she kind of got the filters. Thank you. Like rain. I'm just going down there. You can't come. It's too dangerous, Molly. Stay. It's quite a bit since I left. Wow. This is not a place for Molly. Oh my god, they're awesome. Is it a well, Lorna? There's a whole lot. It looks like there's something. I don't know what it is, but it looks like there's rocks here too, around here. So, I don't know. We will see. <laughs> wow, we never used to be able to see this three days ago. What do you stay? Because now we're... Come there. When I come down, she's going to want to come right. too. You stay. stay there, Molly. You stay. Because it's very dangerous, Molly. Molly, you can't. No. Maybe carry her. Well, she carry her and then have to carry her back. I'm giving tours <laughs> to dogs now. <laughs> back. Back. Hey, come. Off. Uh, Off. No, she can't turn like that. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> you stay here. Oh, no, no, there he is. They became <laughs> in bed. I'll wait here and have a cigarette. Okay, you wait here. I'm going If you keep the going, side. there's a path to the water from there. Okay. But you told me to go down from here. You can, from and here, from the right. You stay with daddy. Careful. Come here. Look at Luke, safety Money. first. Even just have a cigarette, he's wearing the goggles. <laughs> it's just so nice. Now Luke said follow hey Luke, there, the little stream. Keep going. Keep going. Alright. Oh, you just played a bit on the side too, it was crazy. Uh -huh. <clears throat> wow, awesome Luke. So Luke did an awesome job here and it is looking amazing. But we're not going to put any more of this in this video. And if you want to see just how much he uncovers next time, watch us next Saturday. <laughs> it looks amazing. Okay. It looks amazing. We've said this before in one of our other videos, but when you buy land that has been abandoned for ages and it's overgrown, it's like you're buying a present that you're going to keep unwrapping for years to come. It is amazing. Every time we uncover a wall or a, a boulder, it's so beautiful. Molly, you're going to go and have a chuff chuff. Go, go down and have a chuff chuff. Molly has easy access, so I think she's going to go and have a swim. Just be careful, Molly. Slowly, slowly. Can you do it? Be very careful. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. You want me to pick you up? Stay. Mommy will pick you up. Stay. Can I just do this? Oh. Wait, stay, stay. Mommy will pick you Molly will pick me up. We oh. saved the puppy. You're a good girl. amazing fun. so Luke just cut down a huge hawthorn because it was in the way and we're gonna give it to the goats shall I cut it so you can take a few pieces yes please okay well done buddy you have your two loves with you like your chainsaw <laughs> and me <laughs> and Molly I thought you meant oh. no I meant your I, uh, I thought <laughs> my chainsaw and Molly <laughs> He has four, his four loves with him, his chainsaw, his trimmer, Molly and me. The trimmer I don't love as much as <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> Molly, you're number one. I'm number two. You're number three. What? Chainsaw number two. This is insane. I didn't mind being number two to Molly. Wait, you were number one for 20 years. <laughs> Time to give the top spot to someone else for a change. You might think this is mean, but... He's my number two too. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's my number one. <laughs> Look what I got here. Come Hacha. Hacha, look. <gasps> Yummy. Come. Yummy. <laughs> Come on guys, yummy. Come on. Come on babies. Come on little meat ball, are you okay? Look at the size of this wall and boulders, it's crazy. Can you imagine the amount of work for them to have built this? God knows when. I mean, I'm guessing it's over a hundred years old, this farm, easy. So beautiful. We've got about six, I think five or six little valleys like this. I call them like terraced valleys. I think we have about five or six. We have a few on that side, a few on the other side. And this is the first one we've actually attempted to uncover, just because it's closest to us. And we heard the water. Um, but yeah, there's all these walls and canals all over the whole 17 hectares. Who would 
would have thought just four days ago it was just, well, two walls of brambles. Luke's been going at it like a machine. Oh my goodness, look who's coming. <laughs> Molly, Molly, kisses, kisses. Why? Why did you do that to her? No, just sit down and don't be an autogad. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was hoping to get a bit of alone time for the ending to this video, but we've been exploring other parts of the land with the goats because they're being so well behaved now that I can take them out for a walk without a lead. And we found a heaven for them. This is all sorrel and there's a bush, not a, not a tree of hawthorn, a bush of hawthorn and they are loving it. So, yeah, if you want to see what Luke uncovers next, join us next week. And if you want to see more of our journey, join us next week too. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye guys. Ooh, what are you doing to Molly, Timmy? Twister, what are you doing? Seventeen hectares of land, and you sit on that. Well, you move out of the way. One, two, three, go. <laughs> no, be careful, buddy. <laughs> no, no kiss. Daddy, no stay on daddy anymore. When I see that you've gone three whole days without eating goat poop, you can kiss my cheek. Hey, you didn't eat goat food today, Molly. Yeah, right. She did it. Yeah, right. Hey, you didn't. You did it. You're addicted to the stuff. You are. That's no, why I she's stopped like... her. Today I stopped her. She didn't have. She's getting twitches already just thinking about it. <laughs> Get off, hey, I'm hot. Off, off, off. No. Off, 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 off. She doesn't want. You're a good girl, but I need my space. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Actually, it's you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, okay, you're a good girl. Kiss once. Okay, now go. Go, go, go. I need my space.